No, I know that I can't make you stay, but where's your heart? Hello guys, today we're going to be learning to um, change your splash screen in Vindictus. When it loads up, it'll have your little hack shield thing and your splash screen. I'll show you what it mine looks like right now. It looks a little bit different than what you're used to seeing, and you'll see why. This is what my Vindictus splash screen looks like. It's got the grunge border right here. It's got uh, distorted grunge blast looking stuff right here. It's just different. It's got color. Oh, and if you notice, the little copyright Nexon stuff down here at the bottom is gone. We can all do that. Right now I'm going to show you how to get into change your splash screen. Changing your splash screen doesn't affect the game at all. Anyways, go to Nexon. should be in your C drive. If not, then I don't know what to tell you. That's a, you can message me. Uh, we'll, we'll figure this out. But go to Vindictus, E-N-U-S, Media. You have your USA intro and logo. These are video files at the start of the game. You can change these, I wouldn't suggest it, just because it messes things up, and it's real hard to do. But just go, we'll be editing USA Splash right here. And right click, hit edit with GIMP. If you need GIMP or any kind of photo editing software, uh, message me, I'll send you links. GIMP will be provided in the description, it's free. Um, you can also do this in Photoshop or Image Studio or Photo Booth or anything. You really don't need an advanced editing software. But I'm going to show you how to do it with GIMP because it works and it's free. It'll load. And this right here is how you edit it and stuff. But since my Cam Studio is being dumb, I'm going to have to record this in two parts. And I'll stop right here. Since you guys know how to change it, this will the next part will just basically be video editing stuff. It'll all be in the same video, but it's just going to skip a few frames while I do some stuff. And it'll come back right back on. It'll be like a fade transition. So feel free to dabble in this if you want to. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do everything. Okay, here we are again. Back teaching you how to edit your Vindictus splash screen. This should be what yours looks like. You notice I took all the effects off. And this over here, you should just have one layer that says USA Splash. If I did something different, I rendered it out. Um, that's too complicated to teach right now. Um, you can look up tutorials on how to render things out on your own, but for right now, you don't have to do it. Just pretend this layer right here is the USA Splash layer. It'll be fine. What we're going to do first is create a border. Go over right over here. Hit New Layer. Go over here. Name it Border. This will make it look professional. It'll add a little bit more effect to it and make it easier on the eyes, won't look so cut off and harsh. And make sure this color is black. You can change it, but if you're following this tutorial word for word, and step by step, keep it black. It'll look better. Go to Edit, Stroke Selection. I'm pump this up to 9. Make sure this is on solid color. You can't see it, but once we add color, it'll be there. And then go to your select shrink by six again you can change this more or less it doesn't matter but six is good change now now you're gonna change this color to a gray medium you can use this six eight six eight if you want to but you don't have to hold on I gotta cough real quick okay I'm back I almost died from coughing a little while ago um six eight six eight Six eight. You can use that. You can use something different. It doesn't matter. Hit OK. Edit stroke selection. You're gonna go back down to three or four. Three will give you a thinner, slimmer border. Four will give you thicker and bolder uh, border. I'm gonna go with, go ahead and go with four. Hit select none. You got a nice border right here. And then now we'll start adding color. Create a new layer. Name it plasma. You can go up here and you can go to filters, render, clouds, plasma. 
now you can change the seed keep in mind that the dark colors are going to erase parts of this logo right here so if you want it real erased or not change this until you want one this is real good not real light not real dark I'll go ahead and use that and well this doesn't get us anywhere so we're gonna go ahead and go go up here make sure this layer is selected go up here to go to mode go to overlay and they have a little bit of color not a whole lot so we're gonna make it more defined hit this go down here to your duplicate button duplicate it uh, go up here to colors desaturate and just hit OK it doesn't matter which one of these you pick it doesn't matter so desaturate and change this mode to burn and it's got a little bit of a grungy effect the borders faded out a little bit, bit of bumpy ridges on the edge but that's just not quite grungy enough for me so go down here to your symbol layer or your USA splash layer that has the original image on it and duplicate it then go to your filters distorts and go down to wind you can choose a different one if you're doing your own little thing up here but I'm gonna go to wind because it adds on to that grungy feel and then I'm gonna go to uh, keep this on wind you can make the direction whatever you want and keep this on leading if you change it to trailing or both it's gonna mess up your picture unless you know a lot about GIMP but I just leave it at leading it's easiest and then since it's a light color you wanna back your threshold down to 5 and your strength up to about 18 hit OK and there you go you got your little swept grunge vindictus look you can change the layer mode on this to overlay and you can just barely see it or burn which makes it darker even dodge that eh, doesn't look too good but I mean you could if you wanted to uh, grain merge grain extract that looks neat but not what I'm looking for I'm gonna keep mine on normal maybe back the opacity down a little bit and then this is done this is completed so we're gonna go to file save as if you want to edit this file later uh, keep this as XCF it's your GIMP file but if you don't you just want to save it once you're pretty sure this is what you want you're not gonna edit it delete it and go to bitmap or BMP and save it to your desktop right here save it to your desktop it's USA splash save you want to keep this name the same or else it's not gonna work it'll just load without a uh, without a splash screen it'll just go straight into your game and hit export when you hit save go down to here make sure this says a8 r8 g8 b8 it should by default but if it doesn't make sure it's this one right here and then once it's saved you can go ahead and close out of GIMP and this is your splash screen so go back into your uh, C drive Nexon, Vindictus, ENUS, Media and then drag this into your media file and you're gonna hit move and replace but you don't have or I don't need to because I've already edited one so I'm gonna hit cancel and just delete this and then it's in here you can just close this out and open up Vindictus and then your little hack shield thing will come up and then your edited splash screen will come up yep, customized splash screen right there so I hope you guys learned something how to change your Vindictus splash screen if you need to you can get a hold of me in the forums in a comment or even email me I'll have emails on my email in the description and I'll have links to GIMP and Photoshop and even Vindictus if you need it um, if you need question if you have questions about actually editing the image itself I know Photoshop I know Image Studio I know GIMP I know pretty much every image editing software there is so if you and if I don't I can learn it really quick so just message me somehow get a hold of me and I'll be sure to uh, fix whatever I can for you and um, if that's all I think yeah that should be it if you have any questions again just message me hope you guys learned something so until next time bye guys